welcome back to the channel today's video is going to be on our hauler tour so we come in the back door immediately got two bunk beds right now the bottom one's being used t-shirt storage up top we got pillows and extra blankets ladder to get up to the top bunk storage drawers here that are empty on the right hand side when you come in the back door got our bathroom complete with shower sink toilet towel storage this is a 2011 SNS on a 2011 Freightliner chassis these things are built like tanks if you don't know anything about SNS um, more more cabinets like a wardrobe got more blankets coats for when it gets cold won't be needing them anytime soon they come with a built-in safe this one has dog food stored in it dogs got to have their own drawer with the water bowl and toys and leashes got a double door refrigerator or freezer keep food and drinks in here usually just keep a bag of ice when we're on the road or when we're at the races in the freezer more storage these things have a ton of storage in them which is nice for the traveling teams that live out of them here we got sink microwave this is our cleaning supply cabinet trash can slides in and out it's pretty nice keeps it away out up and out of the way uh, more storage keep paper towels and salt and pepper toothpicks stuff like that up here more snack cabinet got dvds in the back microfiber towels for cleaning up there got full surround sound system dvd player in motion satellite tv this couch folds into a bed i'll show you here in just a minute they are actually pretty comfortable these doors close slide close along with the curtains to keep the heat or air in here uh, this unit has three air conditioners that will keep it like an ice box in here up here got a fuller twin bed two people can sleep up there if need be it does have an air conditioner vent right there that blows cool air in there uh, across the top more cabinets got a dinette another couch just lift it up and it folds out into a bed one person sleeps on it real comfortable two people it's a little tight but it has been done We've got storage underneath umbrellas and broom I don't know what we'll need an umbrella for. The dinette has storage underneath it. Got a little electric heater if need, needed. Got a TV back here that plays what that one plays. So you can't watch two different things. Um, this is the slide out. It gets a little tight in here when the slide out's in, but it's okay for going down the road we open it up once we get to where we're going SNS builds probably one of the nicest late model haulers there is on the market they'll last a long long time got to pull the rug over because the slide won't go over it
everything's all LED lights. Leave them lights on at night when you're sleeping here. So if you gotta get up and use the bathroom, you know where you're going. Or see where you're going. Got an under the cabinet light. Got lights up there. Same as back here, got lights around the ceiling. Just gives you enough light so you can see to walk out or walk to the bathroom. You come out the back door and we will enter into the trailer. As you come out of the back door of the hauler, you walk into the front door of the trailer. It has a ladder so we can walk on the roof with it or get up on the roof and watch at certain places. Come in, first cabinet to your right is shop cabinet. Uh, it's got the breaker box in it, hoses, extension cords. Underneath, we got our pit mat and a spare radiator. Over here, we got a step stool, torpedo heater that stays in here, a fan so we can blow air from the air conditioner from the front of the trailer to the back since there's no air vents back here. Up here is some of Murray's stuff. Bottom cabinet, we got a trash can, car cover, barrel pump, another rug, bucket that we use at the track to wash the car. Next up, we got a hanging cabinet or closet that we keep our step stool in and Darren's driving suits. Next to it is just a knick-knack cabinet. Got some odds and ends in it. Below it's usually where we keep all our drinks at. We got a restock. Got Darren's driving shoes, another car cover. Above it is body parts. We have spoiler supports, breakaways, full-length spoiler, sail panels. We go from the roof to the quarter panels. Next to it, we have more body stuff. We've got door and quarter braces. We got straps underneath. Just about anything you need to do to put a size on the car. Also, you can see this hinge here. In the crack there, there is in-floor storage. Two different compartments underneath the floor that we keep uh, sides and quarters in for the car ready to go. Um, also have our refrigerator. Keeps our co drinks cold. Have Darren's shot cabinet with his spring smasher. Uh, jack, tire racks, our pit lift, step for the back door. It's where it stays when we're going down the road. Uh, this is also Darren's area. In the cabinet up above, we got tear-offs, earbuds. Over here, we got race sievers, some party favors is Hans device underneath it we got our shock covers and helmets Darren and Murray's helmets are in there cross permit we have spare battery another car cover uh, wheel covers tarps some jack stands and our stick guy stuff Directly next to it is our spare rear end cabinet, which we currently have out. We got our right and left lower control arm, spare drive shaft, spare lift arm, spare J bar. Below it, we keep all our spare parts labeled in tote. So we got our left front suspension, right front suspension, ignition parts, our loading shocks. Motor parts, drive line, brake, steering, rear end parts, and odds and ends one. And then next we have, we keep our air cleaners ready to go. This is our light that hangs off the end of our lift gate. Uh, carb spacers, so we can, we call them pucks. Restrictor plates, also commonly known as spare carburetor in there. 
Then we got all kinds of stuff in here. We got nuts and bolts. About anything we would need bolt-wise for the car. Carry some specialty tools in here. Scotch Bright, Loctite, ANICs. And of course the dogs have a cabinet out here too, or a drawer out here. Coming back over here, this is where the air conditioner and furnace is. It's always nice to have that. This cabinet we have more, we got hoses and belts, spare starter, our wheel chocks for the lift gate, steering buddies. Have a spare transmission down there. Next to it, we have battery on a battery charger, which is for our pit lift hydraulic pump. We got rags, all kinds of rags, cleaning supplies. Here we got battery charges, battery chargers, our AM FM radio, another fuse box, the iPad. So what we do when we're at the races, we'll hook the iPad into this TV. And if the race is being broadcast live, we can watch it from the trailer while we're working on the car. Or we sometimes watch the bigger races when we're just running local shows. Bench Vice is a must have. Um, these are motor, com these are built for motors to haul. You can haul two spare motors in here. Uh, we usually don't do that. We have a port of power, our heat shield, trash can, another spare transmission. These panels just lift straight up and come out and you can move them around. Um, over here. Rags, more cleaning supplies, fluids, brake fluid, power steering fluid, oil, oil filter, all kinds of stuff. And then in these two cabinets here, we keep our fuel jugs, our posts to go on the back of the four-wheeler to carry tires to the pits with us, uh, gear changing pan, all our gears are kept up here. It's nice that they set it up to have this here at the back because most haulers have them all the way up at the front so everything's right back here where you need it so Doug and Darren definitely set that up nice and then the, the lift gate is closed right now that's what this is these slide closed so we can keep the air conditioner in here when we're at the track cars go up in here that front cabinet all the way in the, all the way in the front has the air compressor the winch battery and then the winch to pull the cars in this trailer will haul two late models race ready thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the hauler tour uh Make sure you smash that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, you can do so by hitting the picture of Darren's car in the lower right hand corner. Leave us a comment, tell us what you think. If there's anything else you wanna see, just let us know and we'll see if we can get it for you. Thank you.